on my feet at work, a lot of it, or most of it on concrete, as a matter of fact, for seven, eight, nine hours a day, and I was looking for something to wear. Um, I've tried a lot of different shoes so far. At the end of the day, to be quite honest, my feet just friggin' hurt. Um, talked to some guys at REI, did some reading, and ran across these. They are called the Ontario by Merrill. Now, what's neat about them, opening them up, they've got a very classic design. What I liked about them is it's almost like a wedge bottom. You've got some on-road and off-road capabilities. Love the colors. Um, looks like a leather top, nice padded tongue. What do they call that? Gusseted so that you don't get dirt and all inside of them. They also come with, if you don't like the red, they do have some brown laces. I'm going to stick with the red. Um, I've done a lot of reading, and, and what I read is a lot of people say they're narrow. And you know what? They are a little narrow, but I like a structure. I like my Solomons, which give me good structure. And I like the, uh, you know, even though I hike with my Ultra Lone Peaks or Temps, I, want, I, needed, I like the structure. So I'm looking for something that had a combination of the padding and the structure. And that's what these seem to have. I've worn them quickly once. So far, you know, felt pretty good. About to take them out on a uh, little jaunt, and it's going to be an asphalt walk about, about four miles. And we'll see what they're like. Going to put these things on and get on the trail, well, the road. And uh, we'll give you a report when we get back. So far, you know, the first quick test, I like them. So follow up in a little bit. See you guys. Okay, slightly different view of the shoe. You can see it on. It does have the quick lace tops, eye hooks. They're riveted on. Looks like they'll hold up pretty well. You can see the padding of the tongue. It doesn't seem to uh, curl up or anything. So, you know, not a bad looking boot. So, nice to style help. to go with functionality. All right, let's get on the road here and check these out.
Okay, pros and cons. Pros, very comfortable. Out of the box, not no break-in period, 4.2 miles. They uh, held up well, comfortable. Heel strikes, not an issue. Uh, cons, wishes. Wish they had a little bit more padding on the uh, ball of the foot. And you know what? Everybody says they're a little narrow. Toe box is a little narrow. Might switch up to some toe socks, which I wore when I hiked in the ultras even. A little bit of a hot spot on uh, the inside of my right pinky toe, but you know what? Crown of the road, 4.2 miles asphalt. They're comfortable. Uh, I'll give them a thumbs up and we'll see that's at least on the short term, no break in period. We'll see what the long term effects are. And if there's a change, I'll uh, add to the video or I'll shoot a quick note out. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the pictures and the videos of the walk. Um, it's here on Dock Road in West Creek. And um, if you get a second, please subscribe, check out the blog, check out the videos. We really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.